Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to index published pages with additional properties which are not part of page meta tag. Before I move on further, I would highly recommend you to go back and check previous tutorial of this series, which is tutorial number 21, where I have already explained how to set up basic indexing uh, without any custom configuration. So as I have already explained, there are two types of indexing. How you can set up indexing, there are two ways. One is with the default, you only need to create a query hyphen index file in your content repository and add the properties as a column, right? Another way is how you achieve more complex scenarios using configuration files. So first one I have already explained in last tutorial. Please go back and check that. As part of this tutorial, we'll see how you can set up indexing with additional properties using configuration file. Now, before we move on further, let's understand why do we need a custom configuration file. So for example, if you have basic properties, means all your properties are present in meta tag or uh, along with last modified, which comes from the response header. So you can set up those properties in indexing without any configuration file, just name the property as a column header and those would index by itself. For now, let's understand a couple of scenarios here. Let's say you have additional information in your response header. You want to index that information. So how would you do that? Another one is rather than the meta data, meta tag properties, you have a specific section in your page. For example, to be very simple use case, let's say you have a H1 heading on every page. You want that information, which is present as a H1 tag to be indexed as a separate property. How would you do that? So we can achieve these kind of complex scenarios or specific scenarios using custom configuration file. So initial steps are same, same as I explained earlier, you create a query hyphen index file in your either your SharePoint or Google Drive based on what kind of application you are using. Create a sheet there name raw hyphen index and create an add column with a header path. These are the three steps you have to perform here as well. These steps actually create a file query hyphen index file. Now the different thing here is in previous tutorial means how you set up basic uh, indexing you add column header here you create a configuration file helix hyphen query dot yaml in this file you add all the configuration what properties you want in your index file and how you get information for that particular property this file would go as part of your code not as part of content now let's understand this configuration file at a high level. I would show a demo as well. So this is a hierarchical structure. First is indices. This is the root element of your file. Then the site, this name is not fixed. You can have any name. Basically it defines either your website or your section. What do I mean that? So let's say uh, you have a different sections in your file if you want to index different section with different file and properties then we use a different sections here i'll cover that in coming tutorial for now you can have any name here but it's just an indi you know indicator or or name of your section so you can have any name here important thing is include now you have to define here what pages or what path you want to include you have to specifically include this is a kind of regex like if you add star star that means it include everything exclude so if you want to exclude any pages or path from the selected ones from the included ones that you in exclude here you add regex here as well means you can add simple path or regex or you can add multiple values here as well so i added one line here you can add multiple lines here in these tags okay target this is important this define where your file present where your file exists so if i mention slash query hyphen index that means i'm saying my file is present in my root folder if your file is present at 
some other location you have to add the path of that particular location this path is relative to your uh, folder means your content directory now properties what columns you would have in your file index file so first is path you have to have that path uh, column as well with name path rest of the other properties you would define here so properties inside properties you add each property here let's say for example i said author if you see the line here author that means the heading or the property name is author now select select is how you would select that particular element on your page so these are the css selector not all the CSS are selectors are supported here. I would mention, uh, I, would, I would explain later what framework they use to select these elements. But these are CSS selector. Okay. So it would say head and then meta. So it is getting meta tag with name author. Okay. It says value. What is the value? Attribute and this. So these are some functions, predefined functions. I will leave a link in description where you can go back and check there are very few so you can easily understand those right so that way you can get properties you can have different use cases here so all our css selector as i said except one exception where you say the last modified last modified is coming from the response header where you say selector is equal to none or if you're getting some other information from the response header or somewhere where css selector is not required then you say select is equal to none one more important thing here is if you see select here you can have select select first and select all so i'll leave a description of that framework where you can go back and check how to use these properties so as i mentioned uh, this is the framework which actually this framework is being used here so you can go back and check just read the documentation you would understand what kind of selector you can write another one is even those are css selectors these css selectors work on your markup means what do i mean by that your code should be present means your markup should be present in view source if there is any such code such markup or such html which is generated dynamically dynamically by javascript or jquery there are fair chances that wouldn't be included in your indexing so that information or the html should be present in your markup and this is the config uh, this is the documentation where you can read all those functions to get values which i mentioned in my configuration file now let's get into a demo and see how it works so this is my configuration file as i already explained i said site you can name anything as per your need this is just an indicator of what your section is include i including everything and i'm excluding any page which shouldn't be indexed if it is under cms okay if there is anywhere in the path of that page the cms comes in so i'm assuming i have a few pages under cms so i don't want to in uh, you know index those pages and my file is in root root folder and name is query hyphen index rest i have already explained now let me push this and see how it works so this is my file which I created in last tutorial. So what I do, I would remove everything, all the columns and all the data except the first one. First one, which is path. So let me remove this. I have removed that. And now let me remove these information as well. Okay, uh, save it. And as I said, if you want to, you update something in this file, you have to publish, at least preview it. So publish. So now my file is empty except the first column with header path, which is mandatory now. And I have published the my configuration file as well in my main branch. So now what should happen? So when I publish something, for example, any page, right? So it there as soon as I publish, let me close this header. As soon as I publish, I should have the configuration which I added in my configuration file means the property sections, all the properties should be added as a column. Okay. Now let me publish the first page. Let me publish any, let's say home. 
So I published three pages, uh, not one, just wanted to see a few information in files. So if you see, it take it can take a minute or two or it can come early as well. So if you see, the information has been added right now. So you see all the values, author, title, date, everything has been added as I mentioned in my configuration file here. Let me close this see this right if information if information is not available the value would be empty but each property would be added as a column header as i showed you here so this has been added now so along with this published pages i published few other pages under cms right so i mentioned here uh, do not means exclude the all the pages do not index pages under cms so i actually published few pages here under CMS, which actually did not in add it to the index file because of the exclude property. Okay, exclude tag in my configuration file. Now, let's understand two more scenarios here. Now, so I have a page called carousel and it has a title or whatever you want to call it. The first element as a H1 right or you can have number of elements means you can have number of h1s on your page uh, and along with this i have a response header where response header says block is equal to custom block okay you can have any information here so i want to include this a block as a one property where i should have this information another one i want to include like page title where i want this as a value means the first h on my page should be as a page title that's my requirement custom requirement so how do i do that so here i added a additional property say here and i'm saying select is equal to none because i want to get that information from my response header okay and value is equal to header and the name of that header so name was block starting with the capital but you can have a low lowercase letters as well you can parse this information if you want to format that information you can as as a parse method I mean, generally this is used for the timestamp there are few other exceptions available you can go back and check in documentation so what happened here from the response header it would get uh, you know information as a block means property block and would add that as a in as a value in that column okay same way what i'm saying page title as i said the property name would be whatever you added here page title now select first i'm saying you can have select as well select would give you all the h1s so i'm saying no i need first select first select h1 you can add your custom css selector here as per your need so i want to keep it very simple and value is equal to i want to have text content of that particular element go back and check the documentation i would include in description where you will find the uh, you know description of these methods right so what should happen let me publish this so as soon as i publish page there there should be two more columns one with the name blog and one with the name page title okay let me publish this so i have pushed this code to my git repo now i would publish any page okay any page properties would be added for any page okay but if the page doesn't have this information the value would be empty okay let me publish this page so now would you see after wait of one minute around one minute that this information has been added so i did block as soon as i published carousel added blocks and what is the block the custom information is called custom blocks which is available on my response header and it added page title which the information means the value is carousel here now I'm able to add any custom property or any custom information if what I want to index in my in, you know index file or I want to that information available as a indexed information or index content. Now let 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 me raise a question for you. Just think about it. For now, I'm okay. I had one site. I'm completely fine. Tomorrow I could have a number of website of different languages. So you cannot have all the content indexed in one file. So how would you index the content of different language sites or different countries sites, right? You can have any number of countries sites. Or if you want to have, 
let's say you have only one site but you want to index a different section in a different file okay you understood here let me uh, let me give you a scenario here right now i'm okay i have one site now i have two language site one for the english another one for the french so i want to index is uh, the content of english and french in a separate file how do i do that or or i i have blocks i want to index the blocks in a separate file i want that block index to be a uh, block content to be indexed as a separate file how would you do that i'll talk about these in coming tutorial next tutorial i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you